richest person that I've ever met in my life did not have millions of dollars in the bank. He had countless friends, friends that were more than I could count. And I'm sure inside of his mind, he could count them because he valued each one of them. Eldridge has said this, I hope that you will find a few folks who walk with God to also walk with you through the seasons of your life. To have someone else witness our lives as we live it is one of the joys of living, and to witness their life. In Proverbs 27, verse 17, it says, As iron sharpens iron, so a friend sharpens a friend. Well, where can we turn to for comfort? One place that we can turn is our friends. Loyal friends have so much to offer us. Encouragement, faith, fellowship, fun, comfort, for starters, throughout the Bible, God reminds us to love one another and to care for one another and to treat one another as we wish to be treated. As we live by God's golden rule, we help to build God's kingdom right here on earth. Today, I ask you to resolve to be trustworthy, encouraging, and a loyal friend, and treasure the people in your life who are loyal friends to you also. Friendship is a glorious gift, provided and blessed by God. Give thanks for that gift and nurture it. Friendship plays an important role in God's plan for God's world and for your life. God blesses you through your friends if you will let God do so. And God will use you to bless your friends as well.